Today I had a 6.30 check-in, so I went a little early because I needed to go down to the village, which is kind of like a break room where flight attendants, where they sit standby, where all the soups are, supervisors, where our files are, just kind of like a little lounge area for flight crew. So I went down there because I needed to print out some paperwork and it's about 10 minutes for my report time. So I head up, go on the elevator, press the button and the elevator broke. You guys, I think I'm stuck on the elevator. No se abren las puertas and it just keeps making a noise. The elevator broke and I was stuck in the elevator for 40 minutes. Okay, thank you. Yeah? I'm so thankful that soy super calmada. I'm not one to panic and I'm not claustrophobic. I feel like if it would have been someone else, it could have been so bad. Someone could have had a panic attack. But I think it's funny because I remember when I first got hired, the, per the man who interviewed me said that I had a very calming presence. You guys, nothing really <laughs> phases me. So, estaba ahí in the elevator like super calmada drinking my coffee i was just kind of like i hope i don't miss my flight and i hope i don't get docked any points for technically being late but thank god i had service i was able to call crew scheduling and they sent someone to pre-board my flight but yeah you guys i was stuck in the elevator for 40 minutes and then they finally rescued me and i continued on my merry trip I mean, this kitty obviously said that this might be one of my last work vlogs for a little bit. As many of you know, the virus has affected so many industries and the aviation industry is one of them. So I have taken a voluntary furlough of six months. So I will not be working. I won't be flying for work for six months. So I return back in March. Um... It was kind of a tough decision. Honestly, everything was up in the air. I didn't know what was gonna happen. And ultimately, in the, avi in the aviation industry, we all kind of look out for ourselves and or ourselves as in like our team members. So for me, four years in, I know when I first started, it was hard, it was a struggle. I know there's people who have families and who are working for their families. Um, I know people who have to pay rent and are living in the city. 
So that's why I decided to take the furlough because I am not in that position. I am thankfully with my mom right now, so I don't have to worry too much about fending for my house or feeding my kids. So yes, I will be out of work for six months. I'm it's kind of bittersweet. Like today my today possibly was my last working flight of the year. But I'm excited. I'm excited for this six month journey of figuring out what I want to do and what will come of it, whether it's new adventures or new hobbies, who knows. Please review the safety information card in front of you, which shows what to do in the unlikely event of an emergency. Take the card out and follow along. Pay special attention to the use of oxygen masks and life vests as we have modified our Remember demonstration due to health concerns related to COVID-19. Thank you.